Alright, this video is not much of a programming video, but it's a really, really great Mac application. It's called Picture-esque, and what it's going to do is allow us to do some really nice visual effects that could take quite a while in Photoshop. Uh, so I'm going to show you what to do. Um, I'm going to kind of mock this. This is, um, I'm building the Square Bracket website. Um, as you know, that's my website that I'm not done building yet, but I've finally decided to do the Photoshop file for it. Um, so these are some picture-esque pictures that I've made of some of the screencasts. So I'm going to do something like this here. Uh, so I'm actually going to delete these now. Um, that way I can put them in place. So this is the program. I have it running. I've taken some snapshots already um, of of the, uh, the screenshots. So I'll just take these two snapshots and drop them into picture-esque. And they're going to load here now. Um, it's actually loading my previous settings. Um, as you can see, I had these two like that. We can change that background. Right now it's completely transparent. Change it to black so we can kind of see what's going on. Um, so what I can do is I have these perspective controls. I can turn them off, turn the reflection off. So reflection on, reflection off. You can kind of see the reflection happening. Um, I can curve the edges. Um, it's not much of a curve going on. I need to make it more because it's dark. So I can do that and you can see the curve. So I can make these really cool curved effects like that. So I'll probably, eh, I'll just leave it at 10. 11 is fine. Okay, and you can do different corners. Um, I can change this perspective. So I can change this rotation, right? So it's kind of jittery right now. But uh, once you stop, it's fine. Right, so this will be the left side. So I think I found 45, and I think you can type these in, yeah. So I found 45 to be a great angle. So I like 45 there. Um, elevation kind of does that. I don't know if you need that for anything. I don't. So I'm just going to put that back at zero. All right, so there's that. I do like the reflection. Um, I actually don't want to use this image, though. So I'm actually going to do it with this one, but it, it saved my settings. And you can see the corner's a lot better in this one. Uh, so there's that one. That's good. Uh, I can save that preset if I want to use it later. I can also add a stroke if I want to. Uh, different styles of strokes. Um, I'm going to leave that off and just leave it like that. And that that's actually good for that one that I want. Uh, so I'm going to actually save that out back to my desktop. This will be the um, this this will be um, build site left because these are these are the code that I'm using to build this website. Although I haven't done it yet. So the next one is a screenshot I took of this Photoshop. I think I called it. Uh, actually, it's just a screenshot. So on my desktop. Um, should be the last screenshot. Yeah, right there. Okay, so I'll just take this guy, drag it into picturesque, and it'll automatically apply that. Um, I want negative 45 for the perspective, though, to go the other way. So negative 45, bam. And that's, everything else is the same. So I like that. So save as, and this will be um, spilled site right. I think that's what I called it, right? Right. Okay, save. And there we go. Okay, and that should save to my desktop. So if I go here and I go build site right and left, take these, throw them into Photoshop, to create two new documents. So here's the right side. Take that over, drop it in, um, transform. Uh, one thing you want to do though before you transform is you actually want to make it a smart object. That way it preserves the size, so if you don't like how small you make it, it doesn't ruin it by doing this. So we'll take that in about there. Sounds good. Looks great. And let's take the other one, which is the left side. A, copy. We're going to paste that in here. And again, make it do a smart object. That way it preserves the size transform and we kind of want to match that about there a little bit smaller up there enter and one thing we can do to test the size see I made that too big is we'll just kind of like that and you know what that's that's just about okay and I can adjust this later so maybe this one I just want to do I just want to do that I don't want to have the middle one right so there you go um, we've made some pretty great stunning effects you know some really you know this would you know wouldn't be too hard in Photoshop you just kind of copy and duplicate and replace but but it's really easy 
you know, in, in, uh, in picturesque to do these kind of effects. So, uh, yeah, really great program. Uh, not sure if it's free or not. Google it and find out. So, hope you enjoyed.